Hello, everybody. Well, it's another fine spring day in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, the temperatures are in the low to mid 60s. And I am going to do a range test to see if after 40,000 miles, there is any battery degradation on my Ionic 5. As you can see, I have mounted the wheel and tire set that came standard on the car. So I've got the stock set up, took off my winter wheel set. These are the 19s. I've made sure that the tires are all right around 38, 39 um, PSI. And uh, we're gonna do the same route that we did last time, um, where we leave from Bellingham and uh, end in Bellingham. At 100%, Temperature says 60 degrees. Says that we've got a range of 258. Curious to see how accurate that would be. That would be terrific. Yeah, I'm gonna um, do my best to maintain 70 miles per hour, uh, except for when I'm cruising through some town areas and uh, you know might encounter a little bit of traffic. Okay, friends, we have reached the first check-in on this range test. We are at 75% battery state of charge, and I've driven 71 miles, and I'm averaging 3.5 miles for every kilowatt consumed, and I've been on the road for an hour and five minutes. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job of sticking to that 70 miles per hour and uh, happy with my efficiency so far. Hello again. We have reached 50% uh, battery state of charge. So time to check in. I've traveled 134 miles. I am achieving 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour, and I've traveled for about two hours and five minutes. I'm happy with the efficiency so far on this. Uh, it's held right around 3.5 for a while now, and that's quite a bit more efficient than what I experienced with the uh, winter uh, wheel and tire set. We've reached the last check-in of the trip. The battery is at 25% state of charge. I've driven 196 miles, uh, still averaging 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour, and I've traveled for a little over three hours. Well, I have returned home, uh, completed my loop uh, up to the Canadian border and all the way down to Marysville and then back to the Canadian border and then all the way back down to Mount Vernon. The total range for uh, the trip came to 250.9 miles. So basically 251 miles. Um, I averaged 3.5 miles uh, per kilowatt hour, um, and I my total driving was four hours. Um, I arrived home with uh, four miles range and uh, two percent uh, left uh, for battery. Um, so you know probably I could have driven around for maybe another four or five miles. Um, and so that would have put me right around um, 256. So, uh, you know, is there some degradation? You know, maybe a tiny smidge? What makes this minor range reduction even more impressive is that the majority of my 40,000 miles traveled were achieved through DC fast charging. There are a lot of concerns out there about the harm of DC fast charging to battery health. My result would indicate that the Ionic 5s and Hyundai GMP platform battery 
is more than capable of handling frequent fast charges. I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.